Hi guys, it's Liz here, and I am back with another card reading for today. As usual, I will be using the Energy, Energy Oracle Cards by Sandra Ann Taylor. Okay. We're going to do some shuffling here. You might hear Luna, you, can't, and you can kind of see her belly. You might hear her purring. Yeah. Okay, so as I shuffle, maybe take a deep breath. Let's be present. Let's be here now. Let's see what our angels and guides have to say. Okay. That's what we got. Oh, perfect for today. At least for some of us. Happy family. Happy family. How perfect is that? for, Especially for the Americans right now. Who I believe are having their Thanksgiving today. I think that's today. How perfect is that? So. Even though. Because I'm Canadian. So my Thanksgiving already has come and gone. But that doesn't mean we can't still be in the energy. Of. Being grateful, being thankful, and being present with our family. Okay? So whether you're American and you're celebrating Thanksgiving, or like me, you're Canadian, or from somewhere else, and you're not, today is not a holiday for you, we can still be in that energy. Okay? And maybe for some of you, Thanksgiving and being around your family maybe isn't so happy. <laughs> let's be real sometimes you know they, they say you can't choose your family right and so sometimes being in the presence of family isn't a positive feeling <laughs> okay so we can bring that we can still bring the energy of love in the family sense of our chosen family I'm a big person on that. I, I have a chosen family. Yes, I am close with my mom, but for a long time I wasn't, and I'm not terribly close with the rest of my family. So, not for any, you know, negative reasons. We're just not close. It just is. So I have a chosen family that I love very dearly, and I'm you know, fiercely loyal, and all of that wonderful stuff. So maybe you're celebrating Friendsgiving <laughs> or like I said, maybe this holiday, maybe this isn't a holiday for you. Maybe this is just another Thursday. I know it is for me. It's just another Thursday. <laughs> so we can still bring in that energy though, that we can still, even if we're like me, maybe you're at home alone right now and you just got your kitties or whatever. And you can still take a moment and be grateful for the family that you either have or have chosen, for your friends, for your pets. As I know for me personally, my cats are my kids, okay? They're my babies. That's my family. So, let's see. Okay, so that's what I had to say. Let's see what the guides and our angels have to say. Let's tap into that. Okay, so... Even though this is sort of a happy card, I'm also feeling there's some sadness, maybe even a little grief, okay? So I want to be mindful of that, that this day, whether it's Thanksgiving for you or not, it can still bring us to that place of, I miss so-and-so. Right? I miss, or, you know, I'm not able to celebrate with my family because of COVID. And that makes me sad. 
or it reminds me of the people that have passed away that aren't able to be with us in the physical world and that makes me sad. And so we kind of, I'm feeling, well, first of all, for the ones that feel like my loved ones that have passed away aren't here and that makes me sad, they are with us, okay? They are always with us. Now, if you're a skeptic, that's, I mean, you're probably not going to be here anyways, but as a, as a medium, as someone who has tapped into that, I can tell you they are here, okay? They are with us. They can hear us, so you can speak to them if you'd like. Okay, so I'm also hearing in that sort of same vein to sort of be mindful of messages. Because our past, uh, our loved ones that have passed away, especially when we're really in moments of either need or we're just really feeling that grief or really missing them, they often will come in and make their presence known in some way. Sometimes it's just a feeling. If you're really tapped in, you might hear something. You might get a dream that's um, a spiritual visit. For some of you, uh, spirits often come in with, you know, birds or insects or, you know, something like often they'll come in with butterflies and, and, and you know, like that they'll come and fly in or sometimes they leave us little gifts right sometimes it's like monetary right so you'll you'll find a penny or something but they bring in they do try to communicate with us in the way that in the ways that they can okay i'm gonna turn this up a little bit okay and so even if you feel like oh i haven't i don't i haven't experienced any of those things they they are still with you, okay? They're still with you. And they're communicating with you in the way that they can. And sometimes when we're in a state of sad or grief, um, or like deep missing like that, sometimes, and I'm not saying this to be like a don't do this or like a blamey thing, but we can, that can sort of cut us off from receiving, Okay. And that's okay. Feel your feelings, right? If you're in a state of, I miss, I'm in a state of grief, feel those feelings. Don't try to shove them away, okay? Feel those feelings. I'm just letting you know that if you feel like, oh, I'm not getting any messages from my loved ones, it may be that it's not that they aren't trying to communicate with you, it's that they're not able to get through right now, okay? And don't feel like they won't ever be able to get through, okay? It's just saying, right now, they may not be able to, you know, get through to us in a way that we're able to perceive it or receive it, okay? Okay, so. Okay, so I'm also hearing honor, honor your family, honor your ancestors, right? Okay, so this could be honoring the loved ones that you got to know and love in this life. It can also be honoring the ancestors that you weren't around in this, phys in this life to communicate with on the physical plane, okay? So like your great, great, great grandparent or aunt or whatever. So this is a good time to honor them. So this could just be through, through prayer or 
Maybe some of you have your own rituals for honoring ancestors. This is a good time for that. You know, to have a ritual or a ceremony. But again, it can just be a simple prayer. Okay, so I'm also getting play and fun. Okay, so again, regardless of whether you are celebrating a holiday right now, to tap into that energy of play and fun. Okay, now this can be, you know, playing if you have them, right? If you have children or if you're young and you're young enough and you're still you know, living at home maybe with your parents or, you know, playing with your pets. I, I'm getting uh, that sense of play and fun with loved ones. Play and love. Play and fun with loved ones, okay? So that could just be, you know, playing a board game with your family or depending on weather conditions, going out and... Uh, playing tag or <laughs> football or whatever or throwing the ball to your dog or throwing the ball for your dog rather tapping into tapping into that fun and play with your loved ones Okay, and so in that, again, in that same vein, I'm hearing bonding. Okay, so we, this is um, a time to bond with your loved ones. Again, regardless of whether this is a holiday for you or not, to make the effort to bond with your loved ones. That could be through play and fun, or you could just reach out maybe and send them a text or something that... You know, a, a heartfelt message. Or you could message them or Zoom them and, you know, have a conversation this way. But like a bonding, heartfelt conversation. Okay? Not just, hey, how's the weather? <laughs> you know, surfacey stuff. Let's get into the good stuff, right? Hey, I love you. Here's why. You know, I'm grateful for you. Here's why. Like, get into that. Get into it. Sort of, uh, it reminds me of that uh, cancer energy of, you know, being the caretaker and the homemaker and the, you know, wanting to, you know, your joy comes from taking care and being with your family and your friends. That's a big uh, cancer energy to want to, you know, be the host and really get into the the emotion and the heart you get all squishy with your loved ones yeah, we got a notification we're onto something that's how we know say pay attention when the notification notification sound says pay attention Okay, so I'm just I'm just in that energy right now. That that cancer energy of love and gratitude when you're around your family and your friends, your loved ones and having and creating that bonding 
experience that that tether. I also want oh something else just came up too. So if you're in a place where maybe your family was toxic, it was harmful, it was not good for you and it's good and it's better for you, it's self-care for you to not be around them or to reach out to them that that's okay okay this isn't you know oh I should do this because or you know it's okay if they if they if your family is not good for you if they're toxic if they're harmful give that love to yourself okay be in that self-care Put up those boundaries for yourself, for your heart, for your self-care, for your mental health, for your energy health, okay? And just give, your, give yourself that love, okay? Honor yourself. Honor yourself. Honor yourself. Give to yourself. Do what feels good for you today, okay? Do what feels good. Do what feels healthy. Do what feels fun, okay? Let's let's try to stay away from toxic coping skills, okay? So for some of us, we can try to resist or cope in an unhealthy way through maybe over you know over drinking, overeating, just or putting ourselves in situations that will distract us in an unhealthy way, okay? Let's be gentle, let's be compassionate, let's be loving and healthy for ourselves, okay? Okay, so, again, we got some angels coming through with support, okay? So if today is either is a particularly difficult day for you, for whatever reason, whether it's family or holiday related or not, maybe like, like I said, for me, this is just another Thursday. But for some of you, with it being just another Thursday, you might still feel like something may come up today that makes that you find yourself needing some support okay and so the angels are coming through and your guides are coming through to say we're here we're here to support you all you have to do is ask and and we're there okay so that's that we had the angel of love coming through a couple of times already let's see Okay, and Gabriel is also coming through. I feel like she's coming through to help us in expressing our truth. She's going to come through and help us in support of expressing our truth. So this is the throat chakra right here in expressing our truth. Okay? I'm just seeing if there's anyone else that's coming through. I'm going to give them that space to come through. Let's 
Okay, Archangel Raphael has also come through to let us know that he's here to help us in in healing. So if some of you are feeling like today is, is particularly difficult and you have, and it's opening up maybe some wounds for you, he's coming through to help us again in support and to help us heal those wounds. All you have to do is ask. You just need to be open to receiving. Okay. And that's in he's in Archangel Raphael is connected to this the heart chakra, okay? So if you have some emotional wounds that need healing, but he also helps us, he helps heal on all levels. So that's physically, emotionally, mentally, energetically, any of those. If you feel like you need some help and support and healing, call on uh, Archangel Raphael. And just be open. Ask for his help and be open to receiving it in whatever form it comes in. It may not come in the, in the form you expect it or ask for it, okay? So just be open to receiving it in the form that it comes in, okay? Okay, so I'm also getting, again, for some of you, this is a self-care thing where you may feel the need to Put a protective energy around your around yourself so this could be like uh, i said yesterday i'm empathic and when i'm in a large group it's very overwhelming for me and so i often have to put a shield around myself to help shield my energy so i can block not somewhat block out their energy but also it's more to protect mine and to make sure that what i'm feeling is my feelings. I'm not feeling other people's feelings, okay? Because that's overwhelming and it's draining, okay? So for some of you, you may feel the need to put up a protective shield to protect your energy. And for some of you, you may want to put up a protective shield to sort of protect your, your mental health and your emotional health, okay? Because like I said before, I understand that for some of you who are going to be around groups of people, you know, family that maybe you're not around all the time, you know, you see that auntie, you know, once a year or whatever, and, excuse me, you maybe you find they're, you know, maybe a little judgy or a little critical or just kind of rub you the wrong way to kind of protect yourself from that energy, you may want to put a protection, uh, a, protect a protection shield around you. Now you can just visualize that. In whatever form comes for you, <clears throat> pardon me. Um, you may also want to tap into the Archangel Mike, uh, Archangel Michael, for his protection that added strength in your shield. Okay, so you can vis There are many different ways of putting up an uh, an energetic shield. It can just be visualizing, you know, white light or uh, for me, I often see, um, I was big into Star Trek, and so I would see like the, the, those kind of shields, you know, when they say shields up and you see the, the sort of sparkly, you know, energetic shield around, the, around the ship, that's what I kind of <laughs> visualize. I'll say shields up, and that's what I see. Whatever works for you, okay? It could be as simple as saying, Archangel Michael, shield me from blank, right? Whatever it is. Okay. And I'm also hearing be open to joy. Be open to joy today. Again, whether that's you know, if you're just having another Thursday like I am, or you're celebrating a holiday, or whatever, allow yourself to be open to joy today. Whatever that looks like for you, be open to joy today. Be open to bliss, be open to gratitude. Be open to healing and receiving today. Okay, this is, I'm feeling like this is a very, like, heart chakra 
time, so the heart chakra, if you're not familiar, goes two ways. So it's receiving and it's giving, right? So the heart chakra, when it's when you look at it and it's resonating with green, that's outward. So you're giving, you're giving love, you're giving compassion, you're you're giving patience. When it's pink, that's in inward. So you're receiving. This is self love. This is receiving from others. So you're receiving love and compassion and patience and, and all of those wonderful things, that joy, all of that, that's allowing yourself to receive. So today, be in the heart chakra. Be in the heart chakra. Allow yourself to be both giving and receiving of love energy today, okay? Maybe you need to give it a little bit more today. Maybe you need to receive it a little more today. That's okay. So I feel like that's it. I feel like that's the, that's the message today is to be here now, be in the heart chakra today. And also for some of you, protect your heart, protect the heart chakra. Okay. Put up those healthy boundaries. All right. I think that's it. All right, beautiful soul. I will see you tomorrow. Another card reading. I hope you found this one helpful. See you tomorrow.